Uh, yes, well, you know, Medicaid is obviously one of the fastest growing expenditure areas in the state and a very significant one. So as we're trying to look at overall, really coming up with a comprehensive budget solution, taking a look at some reforms we might make to Medicaid, I think, is one of the critical pieces. Uh, I think it's also very much a way that we want to work in a bipartisan fashion. Uh, very much looking forward to working with a colleague who I have high regard for, uh, and Senator Ryder, on trying to come up with some suggestions uh, and things that, in a bipartisan fashion, we can really get past, um, both in this chamber and the other chamber. Are you looking at um, managed care? Uh, you know, I think at this point I wouldn't want to say anything's off the table. I'm sure that that will be uh, something that we look at. Um, I think there's been a lot of issues on the way some of the programs have been managed. I think one of the bigger things, too, that we should be looking at is um, when you look at the way we provide long-term care for folks, both uh, for mentally ill patients, for elderly, for folks with developmental disabilities, we way over-institutionalize in Illinois compared to other states. Very heavy costs associated with that, and we lose out some Medicaid matching opportunities because of that. Uh, you can really reform the way we provide some of those service deliveries to get them in home and community-based settings, better health care outcomes, and a much lower cost for the state. So I think there's some big things that we can be taking a look at, uh, maybe trying to make some real advancements on um, this is such a large but an important issue. Do you think you can just can you pull it all together by the you know, time you come you know, back in January? We'll, we'll see. It's January 3rd is our target date. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's a very quick timeline. Uh, this is not the first time that we've been asking for these suggestions. So I think a lot of the ideas are already on the table. Uh, we had a budget deficit reduction committee. There's the Taxpayer Accountability Board. Uh, both of those groups had suggestions around Medicaid reform. I know there was another group that had been uh, looking at this as well. So I think there's already a lot of uh, ideas on the table. Uh, I think it's hearing from that and sort of pulling together what we think may sense right now and that we can get sort of bipartisan support to, to really move forward on. I know this is traditionally been a Republican issue, but the federal health care reform, which of course will be um, including more people on Medicaid by 2014, obviously that is presenting some urgency also. It, it absolutely does. We also here locally have a new director of the Department of Health Care and Family Services, and uh, Julie Hamas, who has been looking at Medicaid and I think herself has some great and uh, innovative ideas on things that we can and should be doing to improve the Medicaid system too that makes sense. So I think there are a lot of pieces uh, hopefully coming together that will um, give us some real impetus for making some significant movement on this. When's your first meeting? Uh, I think it's going to be November 29th in the afternoon. I'm not sure exactly what time, but the day before session starts um, uh, next week, and then we'll do at least two more meetings. So there goes your December. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Good cause. And we need a real budget. I think this really is part of our comprehensive budget solution. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank I'll you. Be